Welcome back to another 3D Log Animation Tutorial. So let's get start. Create a new composition. Now let's create a new solid. I'm going to rename it to Logo Mask. Okay. Now let's create our logo path from Illustrator. Go to edit, then copy. Now back to After Effects, and then go to edit and paste here. So this is our logo mask. Now let's create a new solid. We rename it to 3D logo element. We're going to use Element 3D plugin here. If you don't have Element 3D, you can check the link in the description. So now go to Effect, Video Copy Lot, and from here select Element. Now go to custom layer and from here select logo mask. Now click on send setup. It will open our element 3D interface. Now just click on extrude. So here is our 3D logo. So now let's apply some material. Let's see which is fits for our logo. So here I'm going to speed up to save your time. By the way, if you want to download unlimited video templates, talk photos, mockups, and font, you can check the link in video description. Inverter Elements provide unlimited stock photos, video templates, and mockups. Now create a new plane for our background. Rotate it 90 degree. So now change the size to 50 by 50. Now apply a dark material. So we're going to use it to get a reflection. Now go to plane and change it reflection mode to mirror surface. Now let's enable matte shadow and matte reflection. So here check it. Okay, now change its lighting to natural. Now hit OK. Now go to lighting and from here change it to natural also. Now let's create a new camera. I'm going to I'm going with 35 millimeter. Hit OK. Now let's add some camera movement here. I'm going to use three or four camera movement for this animation, but you are free to use your own camera movements. So here also I'm going to speed up to save your time. If you want to download unlimited video templates and stock photos. Check the link in video description. Inverto Elements provide unlimited stock video, intro video, templates, and unlimited fonts.
Okay. Now go to physical environment and let's increase its exposure. So I'm going to keep the exposure 1.2. Now go to layer, create a new solid, rename it black, so rename it to flare, we are going to use optical flare, so now go to effects, and select optical flare from here. I am going to use this flare. hit ok and change its blending mode to on transparent render mode to on transparent now let's add our now let's adjust its timing Now select all of this flare and click here to hide. Now select the camera. Let's add some depth of field to the camera. Go to camera option, turn on depth of field. Now let's make some changes with focus distance and aperture. Do the same thing to all of this camera. So here also I'm going to speed up to save your time. If you want to download unlimited video templates and stock photos, you can check the link in video description. Select all of this flare and pre-compose it. Now go to effect and preset and search for fast blur. Apply it to the timeline. And make it um, blurness around 20. also had this camera now let's create new text here you can type your own text i'm going to type motion studio let's change its font to roboto now go to effect and presets and search for gradient ramp apply it to the text Let's make some changes here. Create a new black solid here and let's adjust its opacity now let's 
go to effect and preset and search for drop shadow apply it to the text So here we get a cool drop shadow on text. Now go to effect and preset and search for exposure. Apply it on the text and let's increase its exposure a little bit. Okay, now make the text 3D. Now go to text option and add tracking. Now let's make animation with tracking amount. So our animation is almost complete. Now let's see the preview. So this is the video, hope you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed then make sure to subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching, I will be back with new tutorials soon, till then take care.